Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Well, GHL recently announced a very big update to the firmware for its Profilux 4 controller, which was in the works for five months. This update lays the foundation for the release of the new Ion Director that is due out this spring and it also doubles the number of supported dosing pumps on the P4. There are many, many other changes as well, and I'll put a link in the video description below that has all the details. Given that this is such a big update, I wanted to take you through my firmware upgrades on the P4 and a connected PAB device. You should also watch GHL's official how-to videos on this topic, so I'll put those links in the video description as well. Okay, so before you do the firmware upgrade, you will need to download and install the latest version of GHL Control Center or GCC. You can find it by going to the download section of the GHL website, aquariumcomputer.com. Your computer or laptop should be connected to the P4 via a USB cable. Once the file is downloaded, you can click on it, hit run, and follow the setup wizard. The next step is to back up your settings and sensor data since that will need to be restored after the update. You will then want to go to the Extras tab and click on Firmware Update. Check the box in the window that pops up and click Continue. Click Next and make sure the COM number is the same as the one in the Device Manager. Once that is confirmed, click Next. The file for the firmware will default to the most recent one, which is the one for this big update. Click Next. This window will pop up, but you do not have to do anything special with the controller, just click OK. After the firmware is updated, you should power down the P4 for a few seconds and then turn it back on. It will need about a minute to reset. Once that is done, you can reconnect and check to see that you have the latest firmware version 7.24. Next, you will need to restore your settings and sensor data. You will have to do this individually for each of the two files. You will also have to reassociate all of your PAB devices. I have already done this, but this is where you can take care of it. Finally, you will have to update the firmware on your PAB devices. Not all devices will need updates. One very important thing, only have the PAB devices you are updating connected to the P4 with a PAB cable. All other PAB cables need to be disconnected. So if you are updating a slave doser, only have that connected to the P4. Once that is done, disconnect it and connect another PAB device that needs updated firmware. Once you have the P4 connected to only one PAB device, click on that device, select Firmware Update, click the box in the window that pops up, and then continue. You should then select the most recent firmware file and select Open. And then yes.
You should then click OK on the next window and your device should be updated with the latest firmware. Well, I hope this video was helpful. For more information on the P4 and other GHL products, please visit the GHL equipment section of my website. I will put a link in the video description below. I will also provide links from my SPS Frag Store as well as my Reef Keeping Masterclass, which is an immersive online class that provides a blueprint for success in this hobby. Anyway, I really appreciate the view. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Many thanks for watching. See you next time.